I'm Sarah Simiel, the owner of The Curd Nerd, where we are right now. Uh, we're a cheese and charcuterie shop out in Eastwood. I think people get intimidated with sparkling wine, um, but I think it's the easiest wine type to pair. Uh, so the nice thing about things that are bubbly uh, is that they help cut through all of that fattiness you get from cheeses. Wines that have some sort of bubble or effervescence are going to pair better with almost all cheese over some other things. Uh, I've got some cheeses here today that pair exceptionally with certain kinds of bubblies. All right, our first cheese here, we have Adirondack. This is apple brandy wash triple creme. So it's got these super unique apple flavors to it. The cheese itself is incredibly decadent and creamy. You can see it looks like butter right there. Uh, and so the effervescence helps cut through some of that super creaminess in the cheese. Uh, this is probably one of our all-time favorites. This little brainy cheese over here is from Cochrane Farm 1790. It's their St. Johnsville Junior, a French-style goat cheese uh, that falls into this like overly decadent cream flavor profile. I think it goes really well with things like uh, Proseccos and champagnes that fall in that slightly off dry, uh, so a little bit of sweetness to help brighten up some of those notes in the cheese. Maybe you're not a champagne or cava person yourself. You're more of a sparkling Lambrusco or red pet nat kind of person. Uh, I would pick up Queso del Invierno from Vermont Shepherd. This is a mixed milk cow and sheep's milk cheese that has this like decadent creaminess from that rich sheep's milk uh, that is cut really nicely with some of those effervescent reds. Really beautiful, bold flavor profile. This aroma of Queso del Invierno. So I get like maybe a little clover, some of this like toasted nuts, like Marcona almonds maybe, or toasted hazelnuts. I'm hoping for a cheesier 2023 for all of Syracuse. I think we're getting to a place where everyone can appreciate cheese just as much as we do here at the Curd Nerd. Cheers.